every <laughs> I can't do that. I'm sorry, guys. That's your hello, everyone. I don't think I'll be able to finish it. So, Mixing Wednesdays. My name is Paul Third, and this week we are going to start compressing the tracks on the multi-track session that we've been working on over the past couple of weeks. And yes, this thing. You've been waiting on it, yes. This here is the DBX 160. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe don't hit the microphone next time. Right, okay, so very simple. You have a bypass switch, you've got a slave switch, and then you've got a threshold switch for your compression, really simple. And you've got a over-easy switch, which is basically just turns it into a soft knee, okay? Gives you smoother compression. And then you've got your compression ratio, which goes all the way from 1 to 1, all the way to 10 to 1, all the way from minus 1 to 1. <laughs> It's the first time I've ever seen that before. And then you've got your output gain, and then you've got your display for input and output, and it is as simple as that. So, today I'm going to be trying this compressor out. Unfortunately, it's only mono, so we have kick, snare, um, no overheads. Um, the stereo rooms have actually put it into a mono track so I could smash this thing at like 10 to 1 and just absolutely crush it, like 20 odd dB gain reduction. So you'll get to hear that, we've got it on bass, and we've got it on lead vocal as well. The bass and the vocal are going to be in the over easy mode. Okay, and... Dum -dum 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 -dum. Fucking shitty <laughs> drum roll, I don't know what that was meant to be. Um, the plugin that we are going to be comparing that against today is... The Tim P60A. Long story short, Tim's basically got all the controls of this, but he's given you look ahead option. Um, he's he's got basically he's got hard and soft. Oh, easy now, easy now, easy, easy, easy. And that's basically your knees, okay? So your over easy is your soft knee, and again your default is going to be your your hard. Easy. And we've also got a high pass filter detector as well, okay? So I've utilized everything that I could. I've got them all set the same way. The settings is going to be on the screen for this, okay? Don't think like for like, just think. Does it sound like a DBX 160A? If so, then does it just sound like another DBX 160A? You are going to be the judge. Tim P 60A versus the hardware DBX 160A, me trying to get them as close as physically possible. Let's do it. Won't you pass them by? 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 All right, so there you have it, okay? Everybody's going to want to know my opinion. Um, my opinion is I got them, in my opinion, to sound like two hardware units side by side. Does Tim sound like a 160A? In my opinion, it does. Is it exact? It's pretty damn close. I think genuinely it just sounds like two 160A units. 
side by side. But again, it is all subjective. But again, let me know in the comments section down below what you guys think. All right, so now what we're going to do is I am going to do another test. So what I've done now is I've adjusted the Tim P using all the settings, okay, to try and see if I could better the hardware, okay, utilizing the functions that that thing doesn't have. That thing sounds awesome. There's no getting around it. There's a reason why so many people use that compressor. It sounds awesome. I got it for under 300 quid. So what I've done is I went into the Tim P instances and I've adjusted everything to try and make it sound a little bit better than the hardware. Compression is the exact same, okay? Exact same ratios, exact same gain reductions. So what I've done is I've mucked about with the high pass filter detectors, I've mucked about with the harmonics and also the look ahead as well, just to try and get the best setting that I thought I could get for this mix. What I want is for the compression just to come out of you just a little bit more, a little bit more depth, a little bit more 3D character, okay? Can I get that same form of compression but just make it can oof, just make it do that right in your little digital face. What is with me today, man? Sorry. So, Tim P tweaked versus the DBX in the original settings, okay? Same gain reductions. Can I pick my adjustments out in a blind test and does it actually sound better? Won't you pass them by? 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 So there you go. I can pick it out very comfortably because the way I've tweaked them. And to me, that is the beauty of Tim Petherick plugins. I know it's annoying for many people because you do need the full commercial version of Nebula and it's not cheap. Tim's library, the annoying thing is, Tim's libraries are cheap. They're like 20 odd quid. Honestly, you can pick up the Tim P for like 20 odd quid, but you do need to buy the full commercial version of Nebula. If anybody's stuck, go on Facebook Marketplace, okay? There's a plug-in marketplace, right? It's not something like Shady After Dark Place, where you meet a guy like down a dark alley or like in the back end of a boozer, and he's got like a big trench coat on and just like loads of license codes. Like, want some fab people? Or is it type? Oh. I got you, son. <laughs> Fuck, man. What's it, David? What's wrong with me? I don't know what's wrong with me. But yes, it's not like that. And if you, honestly, right, if you just like make up a post and say, look, is anybody selling like Acoustical Audio Nebula 4? You might actually find somebody might be selling it. Like me, I picked up for 80 quid. So to me, there is a reason why I speak about Tim all the time, okay? 
Genuinely, I prefer uh, Tim's to the hardware because you can tweak the shit out of it, right? It's like a Frankenstein version of that. Yes, you can pick that up cheap, but that can't do what Tim's can do. You can't muck about with the look ahead. You've not got a high pass detector filter in. You can't like choose your harmonics. It's just really easy and you can just get way more tones. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Like, you know, hopefully subscribe. Hope you have a good